All right, sound design time. I need the horn of a 2016 Ford Fiesta. Oh my God, I literally heard this song yesterday. Metal hitting plywood. This is cool. No, no, this is cool. Where have I heard this before? Oh, I need a whoosh. I heard this song in like a commercial or something. Like a heavy whoosh, like a mm. No, it's too quick. I need a suspenseful riser. Oh, it's too slow. Different types of foley. Oh, it's not royalty free. I've literally heard this in like five vlogs last week. Do you, what do you call this? It sounds like my Blackberry ringtone. Maybe I can get a sound pack. I'm looking for a wrench that's clicking overused. How much for a sound pack? Oh. I need the inception sound effect overused but without the uh. how much for a single license oh Ooh, it sounds good oh this is this is it here comes a drop here comes a drop i've heard this before future bass that's so 2017. All right, so that hook was just a little bit of fun, but seriously, finding good music for your videos is one of the biggest struggles that I have as a filmmaker, and I'm sure you do too. Music is arguably the most important aspect of a film because it sets the tone of the visuals and also helps carry the story forward. That's where audio.com comes in. I used their music and sound effects library for that intro sequence. So with their relatively new platform, as well as a sound effects library that's created by their own team, you may want to know how they differ from other sites that provide similar services. So today I'm going to be your guide through the platform as if you're going to use it yourself so you can make a decision as to whether this is the platform for you. And if that's the case, Audio have kindly hooked me up with a discount code that will knock off 10% of any of their subscription plans, which is actually the first thing we're going to talk about, their licenses. So unlike other platforms, they offer three different licenses. They have a music and sound effects subscription, which is a yearly subscription. They also have a lifetime membership for their music and a separate lifetime membership for their sound effects. This is quite unique because for a one-time payment, you will have access to their entire library for your entire life. That means that when I'm 80 years old, I'll still be banging to the tunes from audio.com and so will my clients. <laughs> and because they update their music daily it's not like you're paying for a fixed library that won't change in a few years so i think this is really cool your license also covers you and the client that you're working for paid advertisement short and feature films etc so what's the catch the only thing that the license doesn't cover is content distributed on broadcast television and equivalent ott networks such as netflix hulu etc or national and international theatrical releases that's it that's the only catch and to be honest people that are doing those projects they have a real band who scores the music as they're playing it so that they get the perfect tempo and pace music selection. Now I'm someone who used to make music and likes to listen to new music constantly. My favorite Spotify playlist is this one. This means that I have some idea of what's trending and what's been overused. And having listened to a lot of the songs on audio.com, I can safely say that the music is definitely in tune with some of the trends. You're not gonna find music that has been overused in many different vlogs and commercials. I've had had filmmakers and non-filmmakers talk about how they literally know what music comes from other platforms because they've heard it over and over again. That's why a platform like audio.com is very handy because their team uploads between 50 and 100 songs each week. When it comes to looking for music, you're not really looking just for songs that you really enjoy. You're looking for music that has a specific mood that can help you tell your story. And with that mindset, let's do a review of the platform to see if it facilitates that creative process. So now it's time for you to take my hand and I'm going to guide you through the platform. Come on, focus so that the people can take the hand. Come on, focus. Okay, so this is the front page of audio.com and you're greeted with an immediate selection whether you want to browse or select a playlist. But if you scroll down, you can see what new music has been added to the platform. And if you're looking for inspiration, this is a good place to start. At the bottom, we have different composers, different artists that you can immediately check out. And also you have some very common playlists and genres that you could select, such as ambient and vocals, etc. So say you're looking for music and you want to just browse, you can just click browse here. And what I love Love about this user interface is that on the left you have a lot of variety of selections that you can have for the type of music you want to choose. What I love about it is that the selection of genres and moods is very unique to the platform. If you go to mood, we have a lot of descriptive moods that I haven't seen before on a music licensing site. Moods such as aggressive, cold, 
earthy, empowering, stuff like that. It's going to help you when it comes to selecting your music. In terms of genres, they have a variety of genres which are quite common, but the thing that I thought was really cool was that they had a lo-fi genre, and on other music sites, if you want lo-fi music, you have to select hip-hop and lounge, or hip-hop and ambient, whereas here, there is an actual lo-fi genre. When it comes to energy, there is high, medium, and low energy. Don't confuse these with tempo, because on other sites, you have high tempo and low tempo, but in this case, for example, you can have a low energy track with a high tempo. So yeah, just keep that in mind. One of my favorite things about the user interface is that you can actually click on the artists and it'll come up with like a little profile of the artist and where they're from. And to me, that kind of humanizes the platform. It's really nice to see who is making the music because at the end of the day, these are real people. If you're a filmmaker and you're selecting music, at least in my process, I like to look at the waveform because the waveform helps me determine how the video is going to perform if I'm going to use this track. For example, you will see that some tracks are very constant, some tracks have a beginning, they have a drop, then they kind of fade off for a bit, then they come back with another drop. This is very common on many music licensing platforms, but I'm glad that they include it here. I also like the fact that there's very little buffer with the songs, I can quickly play it and it just starts playing. And if I want to fast forward, it's very easy. I'm glad that playlists are highlighted on this bar on the left which means that if you have a series of different playlists, you can easily jump to them, which I think is pretty cool. So if you jump back into the homepage, you can immediately jump into the playlists section of audio.com. So what audio have done is that they have curated their own playlists that are commonly used for films. There is the what's new playlist, but it's also the type of moods and certain genres. So once you have chosen the song that you want, you just click here on the download and then it says create your license. So what you do is you select the license that's for, if it's a business, you set a distribution, whether it's internet, TV, streaming. If anything happens, you have a document that proves a license. And once you download the track, it downloads in a WAV file. And you can also view a license here. Sound effects. So if you choose the yearly subscription where you get music and sound effects, you will be greeted with this page here. Now, this page immediately has a collection of cinematic sounds. What kind of cinematic sounds that here you say? Stuff like risers, whooshes, hits, etc. When searching for sound effects, I usually encounter two problems. Problem one, search difficulty. A lot of different sound effects platforms have a search engine that is very picky with what you type. If you type click, it will only show you sound effects that have the name click in it, which makes it very difficult to find the sound that you want, especially if you don't know what the sound effect is called. There are a lot of sound effects that have very specific names, and if you don't know the name of the sound, you're gonna have a hard time finding it. But what's great about audio.com is that its search engine not only finds the exact term, but finds things that are relevant to it. For example, if I search the word click, it doesn't only come up with clicks like these ones here, but it comes up with other ones that are also types of clicks like tongue knock, spring button, mouse scroll wheel. And to me, that's super good because maybe I don't know what the sound effect that I'm looking for is called, but I can type something in and it'll give me some things that are similar. And the second problem is consistency. Looking for sound effects, I can usually find one sound in one pack or find another sound in another pack. And what that results in is a lack of consistency between your sounds. You can have five different wishes, but they all sound completely different from one another. And it's hard to have slight variety in your wishes without having to go in and edit your sound effects. And the way that audio have solved that problem is by having in specific categories. For example, if I go to cartoon, I have sounds that are very consistent in the cartoon category. For example, pop, side whistling, bell rattle, horn rising. One thing that I'll note about the sound effects is how clean they are, noise free. They don't have any echoes or unwanted noise. And I think that comes from them having their own team that make their own sound effects. It shows how much effort audio.com have put into their platform. It really is a platform made for creators by creators. Okay, we all know that no platform is perfect. So let's talk about some cons. The first con I mentioned earlier is having to always select the license that you need when you select your music. For me, it's just an extra step that I have to incorporate in my process. Plus, sometimes I might not know what license. The second con is that there is little variety on the versions of the songs that they have. Other platforms can give you a song, and they can give you a song without any lyrics, and they can give you a song without any drums. And I think that's really good, especially if you're editing stuff like vlogs or you're editing weddings where there will be a segment where somebody's speaking. You're gonna wanna be able to get rid of the vocals. Another con is that they don't have the app. I do like that the website works well on mobile, but if they had an app, it would be so much better. Final verdict. So I think all of the 
becomes a heavy contender in the royalty free music licensing platform industry. I think the music selection is great. I think the user experience is great. And the fact that they have a lifetime subscription is actually fantastic. It solves a lot of problems that filmmakers have and it means that you're actually saving money over a long period of time. So with that being said, check out audio.com in the link in the description below and use code CAMILLO10 to knock 10% off your license. So that's the end of the video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And whilst you're down there, if you like the video, make sure you leave it a like. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing because I make content about filmmaking, video editing, behind the scenes, and a whole bunch of stuff that I'm sure that you're gonna like. That being said, I'll see you in the next video.